So the last two blog posts that I have posted has been talking about um, altering crochet patterns. And one of the most important things to do before you crochet anything, especially if it's clothing, is to do a gauge swatch. And I talked in depth about how to do that and why to do that. And you can go back and read the blog post to get all the ifs, ands, and buts about the subject. But I wanted to show you today that we talked in the blogs, we talked about measuring a four inch section in the middle of a swatch that you've done to figure out how many inches per inch, or excuse me, how many stitches per inch um, you get uh, as you crochet, which is the method of matching your tension to the designer's tension so that your end product turns out as close as possible to the designer's dimensions. So here is a little, this little metal flat thing here. It's called a knit check. Uh, mostly knitters will use this to uh, tell the size of the knitting needles they're using by inserting into these holes coming across here. Um, you can do it with a crochet hook too if you just put it in backwards because the hook on the other side sometimes will get stuck through the hole. Um, they do have knitting, uh, excuse me, crochet gauges like this too. Um, I don't see them that often, but they are out there. They're kind of notched on the edges to where you just lay your hook inside to determine the, the millimeter size of the hook. But anyway, whenever you're measuring your, your gauge, you want to crochet a square approximately five by five inches because you want to measure the very center of the swatch where your stitching is most consistent. On the edges, it will not be as consistent because of your turning chains that torque the edges of your fabric. So a good five by five or a six by six swatch um, will give you enough room in the middle to measure at least four inches. Now some people will only measure two inches and you can see here that this little knit check shows me only two inches from the edge of the pink to the edge of the pink here. And then I can count my stitches across from the edge of the pink here to the two inch mark in the pink right there. This little silver part is not part of the measurement. So when we start measuring, it is from the edge of the pink coming across. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look inside this little open area and I'm going to count my stitches across this two inch section. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it looks like possibly. It's hard to tell on the purple. Let's count them below. So if we start counting below, because I really want four inches, not two inches. It makes the math easier if I just go ahead and get the four inch uh, measurement. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven and two inches, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 stitches across and four inches. That means every four inches that I crochet, I'm gonna crochet probably 13 double crochet, which is what this stitch is. For single crochet, I would get a lot more in that four inch because it's a smaller stitch. So if I'm looking at the rows, now I can figure out my how many rows I would get in a, in a four inch um, swatch the height. I would figure out the height by counting those. So I have one, two, three, four rows for two inches. So I can pretty much guess that I'll have about eight rows per four inches in height and 13 stitches across for my width every four inches. So now that I know that information, I can go back and look at the pattern, the designer's pattern and see what her gauge is. And if I'm too big, then I can drop down a hook size, or if I'm too small, I can go up a hook size, or I can adjust this number of stitches that I use. There's many different ways that I can do this. So um, test your gauge. I know I used to scream and fight, but I have started projects multiple times because I failed to test my gauge at the beginning. And honestly, I would have rather have crocheted that five by five swatch than start an entire project and frog it three times before I could get it right. So good luck, get you a knit check or even just use a measuring tape. You can even just use a regular measuring tape, measure out four inches, count your stitches, count your rows, 
and then you'll be able to match the gauge of the designer and you'll be much happier at the end when you see how wonderful your project turns out. I hope that helps somebody out there today.